Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gaijin Gaiden. <clears throat> now, uh, in my other last video, I mentioned that uh, there were some election uh, elections going on in Japan uh, on Sunday. And uh, now that that's all over and done with, I've uh, come across some interesting information about a fellow who was elected uh, here in Kumamoto, where I live. Now, you're, this is nobody you've got to heard of, and he's basically, at the end of the day, a regional politician. So, you know, I'm not going to mention his name, mostly because, uh, from what I've read, uh, it's not the sort of thing that makes me care for this gentleman, so I see no particular reason to spread his name around. Anyway, uh, basically, this uh, fellow is considered to be uh, quite the right-wing fellow. Um, he believes that uh, Japan was liberating all of those countries it uh, sent its military into during uh, the Second World War, and that uh, you know this was helping uh, other folks in Asia push back against the, the Western powers. And uh, he also believes that the uh, Nanjing Massacre, or he's affiliated with, I should say, he is affiliated with an organization which believes that the, uh, the Nanjing uh, Massacre was heavily, heavily exaggerated. He's uh, also apparently expressed displeasure with a law that uh, requires uh, foreigners who are going to be residing in Japan for longer than three months to uh, acquire, to register for the uh, national health care program. And this is all basically just to ensure that nobody who's in Japan long for an extended period of time uh, is going to be without health insurance. But he believes that this will lead to uh, foreigners coming in and just abusing health services at the expense of the Japanese taxpayer. And if this sounds similar to some of the things that uh, people say about foreigners in the United States and doubtlessly in other countries, well, your brain is functioning properly. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, by and at large, uh, what we've seen from this election is that uh, the, the conservatives have seemed to have won quite big. Uh, in fact, I read this. I saw this interesting article uh, on the BBC this morning. It talked about how there are a lot of uh, young voters who are voting for the conservative candidates, which um, is generally a little bit of the opposite of how we uh, tend to think of things in America. We generally think as of the young people as usually, <clears throat> in general, skewing more towards the more liberal candidates. But uh, apparently, the uh, economic uncertainty that has been a hallmark of Japan for the last 20 some years has left uh, quite the mark on the younger generation and they are very much in favor of uh, sort of people who are well put it bluntly just more conservative the people who seem to be taking it cautious on economic matters as for you know things like uh, you know reorganizing Japan's military to not be bound by some of the rules that were imposed after the Second World War, uh, <clears throat> which some people believe might lead to Japan, you know, going out there and being uh, a little bit more aggressive with its military. Well, people here are, some people here are definitely in favor of that. And considering that North Korea shot missiles over Hokkaido, <clears throat> Well, I can't blame people here for being a little bit twitchy, but uh, still, um, the limits imposed by the United States, admittedly, uh, that uh, Japan has on its military, um, <clears throat> are, you know, it's understandable that uh, people here might chafe about that a little bit, but it's also meant that for the most part, for a long time, Japan has been very good at, you know, staying out of uh, foreign things that involve military, which has generally been to Japan's benefit from my reading of history. Now granted, in more recent times, Japan has been sending troops on a small level to various international military operations, which has been, always been extremely controversial here, but still. <clears throat> it is it is interesting times that, that we live in. And uh, for a lot of people, myself included, very worrying times. People seem to be looking towards violence as a solution far more than I would have hoped for in this day and age. You know, for most of my life, 
I believe that the world has been moving in a more positive direction. Yes, there are setbacks. Yes, there are mistakes. Yes, there are failures. But that that's inevitable. It's only in recent years that uh, it seems like there's been a real reversal of that. That we seem to be heading in a darker direction. And that's that's worry. That's really worry. Because the last time the world took a much darker direction, <laughs> not s less than a hundred years ago, well, we ended up with the vast majority of about three continents beat all to hell and millions of people dead. And it really only took introducing nuclear weapons to the world to really dramatically put us put an end to that and yet open up an even worse door in many ways and now here we are in 2017 with nuclear weapons in the hands of many countries and a lot of bad guys out there and uh, it's a scary time it's a scary time indeed but what are our options, really? Be scared? Or do what we can and be hopeful? I think it's the latter that's the wiser course of action. Well, guys, I'm going to call that here. Um, <clears throat> as always, please comment, rate, subscribe. Of course, you can join me on uh, Twitter at Gaijin Gaiden. Till next time, take care and have a good one.